Okay guys, so like I said, today is all about water filters and we're back at this lake pond thing to kind of talk about them. So I'm going to be rolling in some used footage of the Platypus Gravity Works, but today we're going to be reviewing it and talking about why this is my favorite water filter on the planet and for outdoors, this is just the best little water filter you can possibly get. So. So I'm going to put this bag away, I'm not going to give you a little pocket here, but this is the water filter itself. Now much like the uh, Aquamira Frontier Max that we just talked about, this does also use water bladders, but it's a very interesting system because it uses two water bladders. You have a dirty bag that goes to this end, and you have a clean bag on this end. And what I like about this system over something like the Frontier Max, where every time you want to use the Frontier Max, you have to essentially dirty your clean water bag and, you know, suck through it as an inline filter. This is nice because you have a designated dirty bag that can get dirty, that can get gross and nasty, and you can clean it every once in a while. But if there are bad things, you know, growing in it, it's, and you put more water in it, it's not going to kill you. And so because of that, I really like how this system is set up. But the primary reason why I like the Gravity Works, aside from its price point, which we'll get to in a minute, is I actually genuinely like how much water this thing filters. This thing can filter up to two liters a minute. So what I like about this system is that it is essentially not, uh, so unlike the uh, water filters like the Aquamira Frontier Max or Life Straw, where it's a filter as you go, you know, you clean the amount of water you want to consume. With the Platypus Gravity Works, you clean a large amount of water, so let's just say two liters of water, and then you have that water on reserve to use it as you need, whether you're drinking it, washing your hands, you know, doing different things around camp, it is there. It's just clean water for you to use. So I really like that system with this because it creates a system where you can support multiple people off of just one singular filter. And in fact, I would say I'm very comfortable so long as you have the right amount of, you know, storage for the water, you could easily support for probably, you know, at least a week, you could support four people off of just one of these filters because you can filter so much water so fast with this system that it's not inefficient. Something like the you know, Aquamira Frontier Max would be highly inefficient if you wanted to share it with other people because it's just an inline filter. So, you know, you'd have to plug it into someone else's system, they could use it, and then they'd have to plug it into someone else's system so that they could use it. You know, it would be one of those types of things. And at best, with something like the Frontier Max, you could only use it to filter the amount of water you needed at that moment. And this system here comes in right around 100 to $110 and it is just a fantastic price because of what you're getting. I mean, this thing honestly puts to shame and really puts to shame and calls into question, or not so much, puts to shame things like the Katadyne filters or your larger Aquamira pump filters for two reasons. One, it produces just as much clean water as th those filters do, but at the same time, because this is a gravity working system, as the name says, gravity works, uh, this is a gravity fed filter, so you don't have to sit there and pump out the water by hand. This is something that you can, you know, go get two liters of dirty water from this water source, you know, set it up, you know, in a tree or set it up on a stand and just, you know, go off, do something else. And while you're going and doing something else, this water filter is filtering your water. Now, granted, it has a pretty high speed to it, so you're probably not going to be able to go off and do something too long without checking on it. But it allows you to have a hands-free system that you don't have to sit there and pump this water for two minutes. You can let the system actually do it itself. So I really enjoy that capability. So the only thing I really don't like about this filter, as I just sung all of its praises, is it does have some downsides. And the largest downside for me is it's a very hard filter to cycle and a very hard filter to clean. Because once again, this being a gravity fed system, the design is really for stuff to come in this direction, but when you clean a water filter such as this, or even like the Aquamira Frontier Max, you really need a backflow. So you're trying to flush everything out. And you can do that, but you have to basically sit here and you know blow with your mouth or put some kind of pressure to push back on stuff. 
and that's really apparent when you know you're going into silty places and you're trying to you know clean out some of that silt and crap out of the filter itself it can be very challenging because like I said the system really wants to just keep going one way however in order to keep it flowing fast and to keep it having a long the longest life it can you really do have to cycle and clean your filter so it does come with that disadvantage that it is rather hard to clean it's not impossible I have cleaned this one myself already I think a couple times but it's definitely not something I look forward to doing and it's definitely not something I like doing because of how challenging it is I do think in the future what I would like to see out of the gravity works however I'm not sure how possible it is is for them to design something like the Aquamira Frontier Max where you know you can just pop this thing open you know have direct access to the actual filter body itself and either replace it or clean it as needed and I think that would be a lot better system even if they had to increase the price of this you know 50 bucks you're still coming well below Katadyne's filters they're large pump filters that can cost three to even four hundred dollars so even if they had to bump this thing up to 150 160 or 70 dollars I would still be willing to buy this system if I could just open it up you know have access to a replaceable filter or at least a filter I could clean so that would be the one improvement I would recommend on Platypus for the Gravity Works. But aside from that, honestly, this filter is one of the best filters ever created. And like I said, for the amount of work it can do, for the price it costs, it's just an amazing filter. I'd highly encourage you guys to check one of these things out, if not buy one for yourself, because this thing took my water game from, you know, really just using what I needed and being very minimalistic about water to basically swimming in water. I mean, I have so much purified water on my camping trips, I don't know what to do with it all because this thing makes it so easy to get a lot of purified water. Anyways, guys, that's all that I have for the Platypus Gravity Works. As always, God bless and I'm out.